Hey guys, it's Steph, welcome back to my channel. How are you all doing? I hope you're good. In today's video, we're doing a full face of first impressions of loads of new makeup. There's a couple of things that aren't like totally new. They've kind of come out like this year, but a lot of things are very, very new. So let's get into it. The first thing I'm gonna start off with is something I am very, very, very excited about because you know I love a brow gel that claims that it gives you like laminated brows. This is from ABH, one of like the brow connoisseurs of the beauty world. But to be honest, I don't actually like their like original clear brow gel. Obviously I love their brow freeze, but never really been a fan of the original. So this is their brow freeze gel. Oh my God. Uh -oh. Hello? Go away, go away friends for the next hour. Very sticky. Okay, let's give this a go. It's got the same kind of brush as the um, Benefit 24 hour brow setter. I need a mirror, I'm, I saw I'm going blind in my old age. Like, I, this mirror's way too far away. Okay, it seems to set down pretty quickly. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Just got into watching Curb, Curb Enthusiasm. Pretty. I'm Larry, I've realized I am Larry. Larry with just like, you know, boobs but also like a slightly more friendly approach, but I, I'm Larry. But yeah, I've only just started watching it. I'm obsessed. Slightly more natural brows than, yeah, like the brow freeze. The brow freeze like little pot will actually give you like flattened laminated looking brows, but it's done a pretty good job. Next, I'm gonna go in with this new primer from Barry M. It's their Inner Fix Grip Primer. Everyone is bringing out grip primers now and I'm not mad about it because I do, you know, you know, you know my thing with primers, can you tell I've just woken up? I'm like, eh. Um, I like moisturizing primers more than anything, but I do appreciate a grip primer when I want my makeup to stay on like long. Smells like pure alcohol. It does feel very, very sticky, but not in like a horrible way. It doesn't feel like it's like dragging along my skin. And it looks pretty shiny to begin with, but actually, it's now settling down. It's got chamomile extract, aloe vera, and a vitamin B5 to create the ultimate grip for your makeup look. Okay, let's see. How sticky are you? That's what he said. Ooh. Pretty sticky. Pretty, pretty. Sorry, I will stop doing that. Okay, we're now, <clears throat> we're now gonna move on to like my foundation sort of thing. This is the Wet n Wild Tinted Hydrator. Now, I don't think this is new, but it's very new to me. I need to try out more Wet n Wild products because you can now get them in boots. But this says it's a lightweight perfector, hydrating benefits, buildable, medium, to, uh, sheer to medium. Na, 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 na. And I got it in the shade Medium Tan. Oh, thank you, Steph from the past. Forgot I cleaned my brushes last night. So I'm going to take this much to begin with. Ooh, the colour's not bad. It's a little bit cool tone, but that's okay. We can warm it up. Oh, we actually look like we've got some coverage. When it said, like, sheer to medium buildable, I was thinking it was going to be, like, very sheer. But it's actually more of, like, a light medium coverage. That's good. That's very good. I mean, you can see I've got this hoofing spot on my cheek. I swear, when you get cheek spots and, like, jaw spots, they never go. So I've had this thing on my face now for like 10 days and normally my spots clear up in like a couple days. This one, no. And it's not poppable. There's nothing to pop. Go away. Yeah, you can see it gets rid of a decent amount of redness around my nose. And the finish on the skin looks pretty good as well. It does look very, very skin-like and it feels very hydrating. Basically everything it's saying on the tube is doing that. So that's all I can ask of it. Let me know if you guys want me to do like a full face of Wet n Wild or something. I don't know if people are tired of the full face because sometimes like the videos that I do for like full faces of certain brands absolutely slap. Sometimes they just don't. So let me know what brands you guys want me to try out. I feel like normally the weirder brands do better if it was like Poundland or Amazon or whatever. So let me know if you've seen any brands like out and about that have, you know, a decent amount of products. Doesn't have to necessarily be a full, full face, but a decent amount of products for me to do a video on. And I'll do a little shoppy shop and pick them up. But that looks pretty good. I'm quite happy with that. It's evened everything out. Next, we're moving on to concealer. And I have actually been using this for a little while now. I just haven't shown you guys. And I love it, which is great because they have sponsored this portion of the video. It's the Aborian Super BB Concealer Serum. Not BB Cream, BB Concealer. Yeah, so Aborian is a Korean brand. I love so many of their products and I also love Korean brands, brand, them. 
them. Yeah, I love Korean like skincare and makeup brands. Also, K-pop fans, I I've joined the club. I am fully, Im I'm a little bit late, but I always am. I'm fully immersed in the K-pop world. I'm obsessed. But yeah, this is their Super BB Concealer and it actually gives you really, really good coverage. I feel like with a lot of these products, usually I'm like, oh, it's gonna be very sheer, very natural. This gives you hella coverage, especially if you give like a couple of layers. Like it gives you really good coverage anyway, but if you want full, full coverage, just do like two layers of this. It's incredible, especially for your under eyes. It contains niacinamide and it's also really, really good if you have spots. Hello, so I think I'm gonna go in. I've got two shades here. I'm gonna go in with the shade Door. It's got a nice little doe foot. And I'm gonna pop that on my spot here. Just cover this guy up. Just pat it in. Like, look. It's basically gone. Like, I mean, it's a huge lump on my face. I don't think concealer can fix that, but it's like literally a few taps and it's gone. Like, still it bang, bang, and the spot is gone. And you can see, like, it blends out so quickly and it's just covered everything up. And it's good for my spot as well with the niacinamide and everything else. So yeah, this is basically formulated to help with spots and also under eye circles, which I feel like I have a little bit today. I didn't get much sleep last night. I think what I'm gonna do is, I'm actually gonna layer both of these up, show you guys the coverage. But what I'm gonna do is go in with Dwar. I never know how to say that. Dwar, 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 Dwar. Because there's a little thing on the E. Uh, please tell me. But this one's a little bit more peachy. So I'm gonna go right on my inner corner with that. Just to kind of, um yeah, cancel out a little bit of darkness. And then, yeah, I might go in with the shade Nude, which is slightly lighter, just to like brighten everything up a little bit. I mean, it literally blends out so quickly as well. The coverage. The coverage. And you can actually wear this without powder. I personally like to powder my under eyes. I can feel a sneeze coming. <laughs> but yeah, you can wear this as like no makeup makeup sort of situation. I've done that a few times recently. Um, or you can, you know, just go like full glam. So I'm gonna take a tiny little bit more on the outer corner. I might add a little couple of dots here. And then I'm gonna mix in the nude shade just to really brighten everything up. I want like a bright under eye today. You see? Like, okay, in this camera, look at the difference. Look at the darkness on this side and then look at the brightness on this side. Okay, let's do the other eyeball. Goodbye, dark circles. I know I look a little bit wild right now because I've got nothing on my eyelids and I feel like they look a little bit weird in comparison, but obsessed with this stuff. So if you guys want to check it out, as always, I will leave the link down below in the top line of the description, but this is really, really good. If you want like skincare and coverage, this is it. Love it. Okay, we're now gonna move on to cream bronzer. I've wanted to try this out for a really long time and I've had it for a really long time. Just don't know why I haven't used it, but it's the Vive uh, Modern Radiance Cream Bronzer. I got it in the shade medium and I've heard a lot of good things about this. I'm just gonna pop it on like so. <laughs> Did you see my hesitation for a second then? That is way more pigmented than I thought it was gonna be. Okay, let's blend this sucker out. Just gonna like, just jab a brush into my face for a minute. I, I do honestly feel like that's the best way to apply like cream products, just like be a bit forceful. Just stab it in a little bit. Oh, it's actually very, very natural. So we can go in with a bit more. God, this stuff's gonna last me forever then. Just cause like, I mean, I've got enough on my brush then. I did a few little swipes over the top of it. I've got enough on my brush to do this side as well. Great. Yeah, that's blending out like a dream. Like, I know it's not set down or anything, but the way that looks on my cheeks looks really, really good. Another win for Jamie G. Okay, moving on to liquid blush. Now, this one has been all over TikTok recently. It's the e.l.f. Uh, Camo Liquid Blush. And I managed to get this in the shade Coral Crush. I wanted it in like the more pink shade, but I'm, I'm still fine with this. It was basically sold out everywhere. It's really difficult to open. But apparently this stuff is kind of like the um, Rare Beauty blusher, which is so pigmented. So I'm just gonna use a tiny bit to begin with, just in case it's like just as pigmented as the Rare Beauty one. Oh, it, do it does look pretty pigmented. Okay, good, good cool stuff, good cool. It's really pretty. I haven't worn like a fully coral blush for a while. Can never say the word coral without think, I haven't even watched it for years and years and years without thinking of The Walking Dead's coral. coral. It goes every single time I say it, it, it's in my head. It's actually really, really nice. I like that a lot. This this looks very, very promising. This looks like it's gonna be 
a makeup look that I'm not gonna have to change. Yeah, I'm very, very pleased with this so far. Yay! Okay, the next product I'm using is the new Huda Beauty powder. I mean, it's the, the same Easy Bake powder, but this one is in the shade Peach Pie. Now, I don't know how this is gonna work all over my face. I might end up using like another powder, but I am gonna use this under my eyes at least. I mean, if you guys have seen any of my videos, you'll know that this powder is one of my all time favorites. Oh my God, it's still got the smell. I know they were like, I don't know if they did do it or not, but I know some people wanted them to get rid of the smell, but this honestly, the smell reminds me of my mum and like the perfume Amorage. I love it. But yeah, I'm actually very, very curious. It'd be awkward if it doesn't work because I haven't tried this concealer with this powder. I've been using it with like my Laura Mercier, my Lossy London. And let's see what this is like. Ooh. That, that looks pretty good. I'm gonna go with a tiny little bit more. But yeah, they came out with like the pinky one, which I know a lot of you would love, but I'm definitely much more of like a neutrals powder kind of gal. That actually looks really, really good. See, it's mattified down quite a bit, but you've still got a little bit of glow to the concealer there. Okay. Looks a little bit dodge around my nose. I didn't actually put any of the concealer around my nose, so we can't say it's that. But, I don't know. Maybe it's not gonna work with the tint. It doesn't look bad. It doesn't look, it's not my favorite. Like, I will still go out with this and I won't like think about how my face is looking, but, yeah, not sure how I feel about the tint with the powder. Like you can see the concealer looks good, which thank God, because wouldn't be a very good ad if I was like, look how terrible it looks. But yeah, I'm not sure on the, the tint. Hmm, let's try it with the Laura Mercier powder. Ooh, yeah. It isn't, it isn't the best with powder. I feel like, you'd maybe only want to powder down like certain areas of your face. Like if you want something super matte, then it's fine. But when you do powder it down, it does become very, very, very matte, which isn't my fave. But again, it's not doing anything weird. It's not making me look overly textured or anything. It does just look a lot more matte than I was expecting it to. Okay, I'm now actually gonna fill in my brows a little bit. Yes, you heard me right. I never fill in my brows, but, and again, I've used this once and I really liked it. I used it for like a TikTok that I was doing, but this is the Precisely My Brow Detailer from Benefit, and I'm not even gonna be able to show you really just how tiny the nib is. Like, the bit you see sticking out, the nib is smaller. It's literally the tiniest brow pencil I have ever, ever, ever seen, and it just gives you really nice hair strokes. So I'm gonna fill in like a tiny little bit around my arch. Let's get it on the macro so you guys can see, like, can you see that? I'll try and just focus it on the macro, but let's like extend the brow hair a little bit. You see how thin that is. Like to all the other companies out there, I'm sure they're gonna copy this in no time at all. But this is what we've all been asking for. We want an actual hair-like pencil. I mean, I don't usually need to fill in my brows that much, but on, you know, on a few days where I maybe do want like a little bit more intensity, or if I've got a couple of missing hairs, like that one there, it just fills it out so well. And just reference with my dark ass brows, I use the shade four. Next, I've got this little Milani palette here. It's called, I actually have no idea, all inclusive eye, cheek and face palettes. And it looks pretty nice actually. Obviously you've got all your face powders there and then you've got some cool tones in the center. Mm. Probably not gonna use those today though because <laughs> The palette that I'm using on my eyeballs today is the sexiest palette in existence. This is me in a palette. I'm not saying I look that sexy, but so excited to use this. Um, but yeah, I am gonna use a few of the like face powders. Probably, don't think I need much blusher, but the bronzer and the highlight, definitely the highlight. Yeah, that looks like quite a nice, light but warm toned kind of bronzer. So just add a little bit of something, something to my cheeks. Yeah, it's warm me up a tiny bit. It is quite a light bronzer. I don't know how, I don't know if they do different shades of this or not. When it says all inclusive, don't know how this would work on like skin tones much darker to mine. Um, so maybe not the best name for a palette, you know? I get, I get what you're doing. You kind of got everything you need in the palette, but is it, is it inclusive? Okay, let's try this highlighter. It looks very, 
Ooh. It looks very that. I, I love how I always prepare myself for highlighter. I'm like, okay, it's like I'm about to do a speech. Okay, looks. Oh, this looks good. I had to check just to make sure it wasn't looking like textured and like an eyeshadow on my face. Oh, this looks good. Yeah, that is gorgeous. I will say though, just like jumping back to the brow gel, it looks a little bit wet, but not in a way that's like, I don't know, not in like an overly nice way. It doesn't look bad, but it's, it's not my favorite finish. I feel like it does fully look like I've got like a product in my brows as opposed to maybe having my brows laminated. And yeah, now I'm gonna go in with my matte setting spray. This I think is a new one from Kylie Cosmetics. It's their matte finish setting spray. Oh, nice fine mister. I was kind of hoping it would have like some sort of, I don't know, like fun scent. I just feel like it, I feel like it should, but it does just kind of smell like a standard ass setting spray. Do you think that was enough? Next, I'm actually gonna do my lips just because I only really have like one sort of color that I'm gonna use. So I wanna kind of make sure that my lips are matching my eyeballs. So first of all, I'm gonna go in, I didn't really know what these were. The Squirt Plumping, strange name, uh, Gloss Sticks from MAC. This one's in the shade Nova, but I'm not sure if they actually have different shades or not. Cause I, I swatched it the other day. They are, whoa, very melty. Um, yeah, I swatched it the other day and it's I think more so just like a plumping kind of lip gloss, but they have like purple colors and like loads of other different shades, but we're gonna try this. I'm just gonna dot it on. I'm wondering if maybe like the blue is to kind of make your teeth look whiter or if it's literally just down to color. And this should give me a little tingle. So like I said, we've got the very, very sexy palette from Beauty Bay. I normally love Beauty Bay eyeshadow palettes. That's why I'm really excited about this, but we will see what it's like. Okay, I'm gonna set my, or prime my eyes with my P. Louise base. What eyeshadow bases are you guys using at the moment? Because, I mean, I'm sure they're still doing very, very well, but everyone used to talk about this. And, you know, I still see like some people talking about it, but this was like the eyeshadow primer to use. But you don't really hear anyone talking about it as much anymore. And I'm just like, is it because, it's become like everyone's go-to and no one feels the need to talk about it. But yeah, let me know what eyeshadow primer you guys are using. I still love it. So yeah, I think I'm gonna do kind of like a fox eye sort of look. I think I'm gonna go in with the shade Marble to begin with. So I'm gonna run that through my crease. I only used a tiny amount to begin with. I hope this, this makes me so happy just looking at all of these colors that probably to some people, all look exactly the same, like different shades of gray. I'm into it, I'm so into it. I think I'm gonna do a video soon where I basically do my makeup using products and techniques that I never, ever, ever use. Like I'm talking like proper like warm smoky eye. I don't hate a warm smoky eye, but I will never, ever, ever choose it over a cool tone one. But yeah, I think I'm gonna do that soon. So let me know if you wanna see that. And let me know if there's anything as well that you think that maybe I won't think of, but what am I saying? Like, let me know if there's like techniques or products or styles of products that you want me to try in a video that you think will look good on me. Like some people always wanna see me in like huge lashes. I feel like they just swamp my face, but I will do that in the video. Okay, I'm now gonna go in with Elephant, which might look basically the same, but we all know it's not, right? We, it's not the same. Don't tell me it is. That's so gray and in such a good way. Okay, before I do anything on the outer corner, cause I'm gonna be doing like a big wing and everything, I'm gonna go in with a shimmer and I think I'm gonna use my little fingies. I think, I'm gonna go in with this shade first, Wish, and see how I go with it, but the shade Sword, but also, oh, Magic also looks really good. I'm gonna try this first, and then, I'm, yeah, I might go over the top with Magic, which is more of like an actual silver. I'm just laying it down on my lid first. Yeah, I think I might use the, um, a little bit of magic, at least like more so on my like center of my lid. This is gonna be a new favorite palette of mine, 100%. Okay, hoping, hoping that there is no fallout here. I'm gonna go in with the shade, I'm gonna start off with the shade Highway on a little angle brush, just to like map out my wing. I need a skinny little brush. There we go, that's what I need. 
because I'm also gonna smoke this out in a minute, so I'm gonna use a slightly lighter shade to start with. And I'm just gonna ever so slightly blend out the edges. Then I'm literally going to shove this brush in my mouth because definitely just got eyeshadow on my lips there. Yeah, I'm gonna basically make a liner out of the darker shade in this, which is called Tattoo. And then yeah, basically go over what I just did. I actually like, think, <laughs> think Spit works better than like all of the other sort of products that are meant to, you know, turn powders into liquid. Sometimes you just gotta spit on it. I know what you're thinking, and so am I. Yes, and then also take it ever so slightly around my lash line. And there's like, there's like two tiny pieces of fallout. That's fine, I can deal with that. Then using that same little smudging brush that I was using before, I'm gonna take a little bit of iron, which again, might look the same as all the other shades that I've used, but it's so different. And I'm gonna run a little bit of that on my lower lash line, but only on the outer corner. And I mean like, tight to my lower lash line. I love it. Okay, we're gonna put that to the side for a moment. I'm now gonna go in with this mascara here. Again, not not new, but I think the newest mascara that Benefit have come out with is their Fan Fest. And I'm gonna put that on the outer corners of my lashes, just to again, give that like fox eye lift look. We're so spoiled now with like drugstore mascaras that when I try ones that I know are like, a little bit more expensive. There's just something in where I'm, where I'm like, you better be good. Like, you better be hella good. It's giving me a little bit of thickness. It's very black. I wouldn't necessar necessarily say it's like fanning my lashes out that much, but I don't know. I'm trying to like look at myself, but also I realize that like you can't see my lashes when I do that, but I do like it. Do I like others more? Yeah. I am gonna add some lashes in a bit. I've got these um, W7 individual lashes and I'm gonna use these bottom guys here. But do I have a liner? I do, it's not a new one, but I have my Kylie liner here and I'm gonna run that through my top waterline. This is just in the shade black. And the lip liner that I have today, I think I might actually just use this with a bit of concealer to go like full cool tones. It's not like a new, formula or anything that I haven't tried, but it's the um, Charlotte Tilbury Lip Sheet in the shade Pillow Talk Intense, which is like this really, really nice cool tone brown. I have fallen back in love with using like brow pencils as lip liners. This kind of looks like a slightly warmer brow pencil than I would normally use, so I've got high hopes. But you know what, I am actually gonna take, where did I put that? Are you under there? Yeah, there you are. I'm gonna take a tiny little bit of the Aborian Concealer because I want my lip line to be exactly how I want it. Ooh. I might have to add a bit more blush in a minute because this is gonna be super cool toned. When you mix the concealer with maybe like a slightly warmer toned um, lip liner as well, it does just make it look a little bit more cool toned and I am loving this. I do also have this Max Factor 2000 Calorie Lip Glaze. And I'm gonna take, oh, this smells really good. I'm gonna take a tiny little bit right in the center, literally the smallest amount. Oh, these feel really good. Right, I'm going to fix up my lip line a little bit. I want it to be like super precise. Do my other eye, pop on some lashes, sort myself out a little bit, and then I will show you guys the finished look. But I think it's safe to say that I'm really happy. Okay, back in one moment. Okay, my friends, so this is the finished look. I added a couple of these lashes in, and they are quite nice, but they are very, very natural. Like, you can't really see them or anything, which is good, but <laughs> the problem is they don't really look, I change anything about my eyes, so it was kind of pointless, but I don't know, if you're doing like something super natural, like very natural makeup, but you wanna have like slightly fuller lashes, these are actually quite nice, they do look pretty real, but for something a little bit more dramatic, you can't really tell that I did anything. I have been struggling a little bit with the lip liner. It was like Charlotte Tilbury liners are never normally like this, but this one was a little bit difficult to like blend out. So I was really trying to like get it in there. It was kind of almost going like a little bit waxy. Um, what else did I do? What, what else did I do? Added a couple of freckles. That's kind of it. But overall, I do really like this makeup. I do feel like, I don't know, maybe if I had slightly more of like a color on my lips, maybe if I had like a little bit of like pinkiness or something in the center of my lips, could work a little bit better. But overall, 
I do really quite like this makeup. I do. I feel like there's something missing and I'm not quite sure what it is. Maybe it's the lashes, I'm not sure. But yeah, I'm pretty happy. However, I don't love the base. It's fine. Like I said, it's not, it's not a problem or anything. I'm not feeling like self-conscious about how my skin looks. But there is something about it that I just feel like looks a little bit heavy. There's a cat hair on my nose, standard. I don't think I've ever gone through a video without saying that there's a cat hair somewhere on my face or like up my nose or something. But um, but yeah, I feel like the skin is just, it's just not quite right. Maybe that's what's, what's wrong with my face. There's probably a lot of things wrong with my face. Um, but yeah, overall, I do really, really like how this makeup turned out. So as always, my friends, I'm gonna leave links to everything that I mentioned in this video down below in the description. And of course, if you guys do wanna try out the Aborian Super BB Concealer, it's very, very good. There's like no creasing, great coverage. Obviously you've got your skincare benefits in there as well. Then I will leave a link to that down below as well in the top line of my description. But yeah, I'm gonna leave it here for today. Let me know what you guys think of this makeup look. Let me know what it is that you think, that I think is wrong with it because I can't quite figure out what it is. But yeah, I'm gonna leave it here. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you do wanna see more of me because I don't blow it all the time. The real ones know what I just said. Um, and let me know what other products or brands or whatever you guys want me to try out because I 100% do that. But yeah, I'm gonna leave it here. I love you and I'll see you in the next one. Love you, bye.